one of the most powerful vibe coding tools out there at the moment is Claude Code. Claude Code can seem daunting, can seem scary because it runs in your terminal. It's a CLI, a command line interface, meaning it runs in your terminal on your computer and it doesn't have a typical app kind of looking front end that we're used to. So it's a bit scary and I'm sure it's more than vibe coding. It's also for real engineers. I'm a vibe coder. I don't know if that's cool or not, but I'm having a lot of fun. And I want to show you in the next few minutes how I get the best out of Claude code. You can install Claude by copying this command into your terminal. I paste it in my terminal and I'm ready with Claude code. It can be daunting because the only thing you see is this black screen with a bit of text. But it's not very hard to learn these things. Luckily, we have AI. So with ChatGPT, with Claude, with anything, you can ask about how to navigate inside your terminal. And I discovered that if you do LS, you get a list of every folder on the top level. And what I'm going to do is I, you do CD to open a folder and you could do documents. You could do actually you can write a little bit and then tab CD documents. I you enter. I'm inside CD documents. I have a build folder. I'm in my build folder now. I can do LS. This is where I have all my vibe coding projects. I created an empty folder just for this use case. It's supposed to be called post session pages. I can see that CD post. And then here we go, pages. So I'm inside, I can do LS, it's empty as you can see. And if you do PWD, you know where you are. I'm inside my documents, I'm inside the build folder, inside the post session pages. So now I wanna launch Claude. You can just write Claude, enter, and here we go. Welcome to Claude Code. Awesome, ask Claude to create a new app or clone a repository. Use Claude to help with file analysis, editing, bash comments in Git. Be as specific as you would like with another engineer with the best results. I love Claude code because I've already integrated to my Zapier MCP, which I have another video I just did about that. Please do watch that because that's very interesting for business automation. But right now I want to use Claude code to build something quite simple very, very quickly. So let's start. If you do shift tab twice, you get to plan mode. If you did it once, you get to auto accept edits on, or if you do it again, so twice, plan mode on. I wanna first plan my app. I want to build a landing page type of mini web app that helps me do my post training sessions follow up. Meaning after I have finished a corporate AI training with my clients, I wanna be able to send them a link where they can access all their resources, like their session recordings, like the notes about the training, and any other files that I suggest for them to read. I wanted to be able to have different weeks. I wanna be able to launch separate weeks according to the sessions I had. And I wanna be able to do this right after my session, being able to say week three's material is here, check it out. And that I wanted to be like a mini website, but I wanted to be specific for X or Y client. So the links should be unique. This was one of the worst ways of explaining an app, but I'm sure it'll, it'll work. We're on plan mode. I enter that. And it's waving. I'll help you build a landing page for post training session follow ups. Let me first understand the project structure and then create a plan for this web application. It's inside my folder. There's nothing in the folder, so it's not going to find anything it wants to list. Let's accept that. Well, the folder is empty, Cloud Code it wants to keep listing. All right, here we go. Based on the analysis, the post session directory is completely empty and ready for a new project. Given the context of other projects in the build director, here's what I would recommend. Nice, it's looked at some of my other builds. Recommend project setup plan. Since this is a blank directory, I suggest setting up a modern web application with front-end framework, React with TypeScript, consistent with other projects, because that's what I've been doing. I've been vibe coding React with TypeScript. Build tool is vital for fast development. Styling is Tailwind CSS for utility for styling. Component library, backend, nice. Database, that's really cool. All right, let's just accept that, yes. So it's removed us from the plan mode. Now auto accept edits on, meaning that now I should start taking some actions. Here we go. It's created some to do's for itself. It's initializing the React TypeScript project with Vite. And then it's gonna do all the other steps like set up the tailwind and create landing page component structure and so on. And this is quite fast, by the way. So here we go. It's asking me permissions again. It's asking me NPM create comments. Yes. Or I can just say, don't ask me again for those comments. I'll say again, don't ask me for RM comments. Gave a little error. I don't even know what that error is. I'll fix it. 
Make sure that you do this in a certain folder and don't mess up your computer because it could be problematic quite quickly. All right, what does it say? NPM create Vite, last client, template React, blah, blah, blah. Some more MV comments. Vibe coding is all about the blah, blah, blahs. Please be careful when you're trying this at home. Vibe coding can be dangerous. Make sure to do this in a controlled environment. I feel like when the Jackass videos used to say, please be careful doing this at home. Vibe coding is a little bit like that. You're taking quite big risks. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it's painful, but sometimes you land that trick and that is very interesting. Here we go. We've initialized the React and TypeScript project with Vite. We're setting up the Tailwind CSS and Chad CN UI. All right, let's keep giving it permissions. Some errors. NPM error could not determine executable to run. NPM error complete. Log of this run can be found in no 50 packages are looking for funding and uh, NPM fund for details. All right, let's see. It's writing some code now. Wrote 11 lines to Tailwind to config JS. It wrote six lines to post CSS config JS. It started to write the project. And here we are, a bunch of lines of code being written. It's updated the indexed file. Well, I don't know about development much, but what I've done is I've been every night learning it by practicing it using Replit, Claude Code, Codex, Windsurf, Lovable, anything I can really. And then if I'm unsure about something, I ask ChatGPT or I ask Claude. And another little trick that I do that is really good is when you have your project, push it to GitHub. GitHub is where developers keep their code repository. If you don't know what that means, please check it out. Just search it on ChatGPT or Claude. And I push my code, my folder into GitHub so that I can access it from different applications. And what I do is I access it through ChatGPT Deep Research and I select that repo and then I ask it to explain me everything that is in that repo and explain it to me like I'm a non-developer. And then it gives me pages and pages of explanation. Then I read those explanations and then the next day I know a little bit more about development. I don't need a computer science degree and sorry for the computer scientists out there. I have a lot of friends. I know you're going to hate me for it. Please don't, but I'm having fun. So let's give a bit more permissions. Set up the Tailwind CSS and Shad CN UI. It's creating the landing page component structure. That's cool. Now let me create the landing page component structure first. Let me clean up the default Vite files and create our own new structure. Okay. Huh. Let me create the types for our training portal. That's cool. It's created the SRC types index.ts. Now it's creating a basic landing page component. Here we go. It's wrote 172 lines to SRC pages client portal.tsx. Now let me create the admin page for managing clients and sessions. That's cool. Now let me create the admin page, update the app.tsx to include routing. Oh, let me fix the import order. So it decides on what to fix, which is really cool. Create session week management components. Okay, it's implemented already the unique client link generation system. Wow. And now it's creating the session slash week management components. Perfect, the development server is running. Let me create a simple toast notification component for better user feedback. Let me update the admin dashboard to include toast notifications. I think toast notification is not actual toast bread. I think it's a type of notification. Now let me create a simple file upload component. Add file upload and resource management. Oh, here we are. It doesn't seem like it's done the other to-dos, but let's check this out. Your training portal web app is now set up with the following features, okay. The app is running at, okay, let's get that link. All right, we did get a training admin dashboard. How does this work? Let's check it out. We have a big blue button, new client, great. Let's give it a name, upload code. Let's call this Anthropic just for the sake of it. And let's do Claude at test.com. Let's create the client. Amazing. We got a portal link already. That's cool. Let's just open that up. All right. We have, okay. There's nothing inside it, but welcome Claude code from Entropic. Okay. So we got a URL that is working. So let's see, how do we add a session? Okay. I see this little button. Open this up. Add session. Week number one, intro to AI. This is the intro. All right, this is cool. Create session. All right, we got a session. Let's see if that will happen. Let's refresh this. Wow, week one intro to AI in this URL that is special for this client. Amazing. Let's add a material. So resource type recording uh, session 
one recording let's put a url i'm just putting a youtube video and i'm gonna say here we go i'm gonna add this great i can see it here let's go back refresh it wow it is here we have it's like a download button but it opens it in it wow this is really cool well we got our link working so as you can see week one session one recording it's on a unique link so each client we create has a unique link. This is what we wanted and has their own sessions and their own resources. This is quite cool. A very simple app built in minutes, not hours. And this is uh, ready to be deployed. This is Cloud Code. Cloud Code is on the terminal. Looks scary, but as you can see, it's very, very powerful. You could go back to Cloud Code now, explain what you like, what you don't like, the things that you want to see, the next features. Remember, use the plan feature. It's shift tab twice. You get into plan mode. In plan mode, you can just plan the features. You can plan your product roadmap. Then you can accept that to start letting Cloud Code build your application. Wow, this is incredible. Cloud Code is super powerful. When it's run with Cloud 4 Opus, which can get expensive, so be careful on the plans. You can get the max plan, $100 a month. If you have the max plan, you can make sure that you're running with your max plan and not with your API keys. This way, you are limited to that subscription and you can get the powers of Cloud 4 Opus or Cloud 4 Sonnet, helping you build whatever product you could ever imagine. I'll do more technical videos about these. These are a little bit more intro videos these days about me vibe coding. I'm still learning it. If you want to continue learning these with me, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications, come and comment below. What would you like to see next? As I love to read your comments. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. This was Tim Chucker, the AI operator, signing off.